Season 1, Episode 10, Jet. That's a very short title. What are those? Oh, that sucks. Where's Momo? Very captured. <laughs> Nice. You got his food. Hey! That was actually really clever. Someone's gonna be mad at them. Since when? You're the leader? It's your voice still cracks. <laughs> I'm the oldest and I'm a warrior. So I'm the leader. If anyone's the leader, it's Aang. I mean He is the well, yeah. He is the avatar. I don't know if any of them honestly qualify to be the leader. They're all kind of stubborn in their own way. <laughs> like I honestly, I don't even know who I would pick as the leader of the group. But it's definitely not him either. I will say he did just put in work though, cutting down those uh, strings. He's actually pretty skilled with that, whatever he threw. Um, and he does make a good point. Um, you know, maybe going on foot would be a little bit more discreet than a giant flying bison in the sky. So, Are you kidding? I don't know. He brings up some good points. He's right. Why do boys it is true. I am sure you have. Grand, Grand, I've met Grand, Grand. No, besides Grand, Grand. Look, my instincts tell me we have a better chance of slipping through on foot, and a leader has to trust his instincts. Okay, we'll try it your way, oh wise leader. Who knows? Walking might be fun. Walking stinks. <laughs> Why don't they just sit on Appa? What? He's literally walking with him. Why don't they just ride him? Very funny. Okay, maybe his instincts weren't the greatest. I still think he brought up a decent point earlier, but this is definitely not a good idea, apparently. So. Aw, oh, now they lost all their supplies. Aw, oh, man. Oh, nice. Water on hand. If you let us pass, we promise not to hurt you. What are you doing? Huffing? Yeah. You promise not to hurt us? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, oh. Nice work, Sokka. How'd you do that? Uh, instinct? Huh. Ultra instinct, apparently. Very heroic music. <laughs> Sick. Wait, that's so cool. Down you go. Who are you? They're in the trees. <laughs> Yo, these guys are putting in work, man. That's a sizable amount of people. And these are my freedom fighters. Sneers, long shot, smell or beast, the duke, and pipsqueak. <laughs> pipsqueak. That's a funny name. <laughs> you think my name is funny? Oh. I mean, it's, you know, it is still funny, though. Um, thanks for saving us, Jet. We're lucky you were there. I 
should be thanking you. We were waiting to ambush those soldiers all morning. Bro, every freaking fr every frame he's in, he's like in some heroic pose or like some mysterious pose. I find that so funny. And then you guys stumbled in. We were relying on instincts. Go get yourself killed doing that. Hey Jet, these barrels are filled with glassy jelly. That's a great score. And these boxes are filled with jelly candy. Awesome. Hey. I would imagine so. <laughs> She's very interested in him. Cool. <laughs> she would love to. <laughs> Every frame of him is just like perfect. This is really cool actually. They live in the trees. It's beautiful up here. It's beautiful. And more importantly, the Fire Nation can't find us. So you all live here? That's right. Long shot over there? This town got burned down by the Fire Nation. And we found the Duke trying to steal our food. I don't hmm. think he ever really had a home. What about you? That's interesting. Oh, uh, it's interesting though that the other people were like kind of against them, but then he like took them in and recruited them when he found out they kind of had nothing. That's actually really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about a couple kids. There seems to be quite a bit of people up here. Nice speech. Thanks. By the way, I was really impressed with you and Aang. That was some great bending I saw up there today. Well, he's great. He's the Avatar. I could use some more training. Avatar, huh? Very nice. <laughs> so I might know a way that you and Aang can help in her struggle. Unfortunately, we have to leave tonight. Sokka, you're kidding me. I needed you on an important mission tomorrow. He knows just how to talk to him. This episode is really funny. <laughs> Wait, false alarm. He's just an old man. Nope. No, he's definitely hiding something. I uh, actually something I really do like about this episode is it's actually showing Sokka's like um he's useful he's actually pretty useful he's good at what he does like he definitely has skill and I actually do appreciate that because uh, you know like I, so far through most of the show he's just kind of been shown as the uh you know kind of bum who you know <laughs> always gets the worst end of the stick um but like in this episode he's actually kind of putting in work he's like actually good at what he does he's useful he has good survival instincts too so i actually really like that they're showing his usefulness even though he's still very arrogant what are you doing in our woods you leech please sir i'm just a traveler mm, i don't believe it there is a good chance this guy could like pull out something Yeah, but you can't. Okay. Maybe he's just an old man. I don't know. I can't blame Jet for wanting to, you know, because you, you see someone old like that. Like, you who knows what they're hiding? You know, like if he's part of the Fire Nation, he can like easily just 
pull out some crazy moves, burn down the forest or something. I don't know. Um, but he did actually seem like a helpless old man, which kind of sucks. So Jet definitely kind of took it too far there. Because he's like, he's grouping, he's like, well, the Fire Nation, like, they killed your mother. It's like, yeah, but you can't group them all as the same entity, I suppose. You know, I don't know. Well, I'm guessing Sokka's going to tell Katara about it, and then she's not going to believe him because she's so infatuated with Jet. So oh, he did have a knife. Okay, see, it's like, see, there's a compartment for poison and a knife. see, it's hard to know. You know what I mean? Like, so he was dangerous, but like, you you couldn't have known that because you know from the outside he doesn't look dangerous, but you don't actually know that. This is a very nuanced situation. He was sent to eliminate me. You helped save my life. Son. Unless Jet is framing this. I didn't see any knife. As you say, unless Jet is framing it. I don't know if I buy into it or not. We can't leave now with the Fire Nation about to burn down a forest. I'm sorry, Katara. Jet's very smooth, but we can't trust him. You know what I think? You're jealous that he's a better warrior and a better leader. Katara, I'm not jealous of Jet. It's just that my instincts... Well, my instincts tell me we need to stay here a little longer and help Jet. Come on, Aang. Sorry, Sokka. It's a really interesting situation because I don't really know who to believe. I'm choosing in favor to trust Sokka more, though. Because Jet's a new character, and he's too perfect. I think he's too perfect um, of a person where I think he's definitely not as good as he says he is. Yeah. We're gonna win a great victory against the Fire Nation today. See, no one's gonna listen to Sokka. This is a big problem. Yeah, I'm sorry about how Sokka's been acting. No worries. You already apologized. Really? Sokka apologized? See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was surprised too. I got the sense that maybe you talked to him or something. Yeah, I did. I guess something you said got through to him. Oh my Anyhow, dude, this guy is such a manipulator. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even blame these two for helping him out because Sokka's kind of been <laughs> un I don't I don't I don't want to say untrustworthy, more like unreliable up until this point. So they don't want to believe him and also Jet has that natural charm to him, I suppose. And he's a master manipulator, so I, I can completely understand why they're choosing to believe him over Sokka. Yes, good job. This river empties into the reservoir. A few more geysers and it'll be full. Look, there's another steam vent. Okay, you two keep it up. I'll go check on things at the reservoir. When we're done, we'll meet you over there. Actually... Probably better if you meet me back at the hideout when you're done. 
because it's a genocide, baby. <laughs> This is and I'm not just saying that to be lazy. Let's catch up with Judd at the reservoir. I thought we agreed to meet Jeff back in the hideout. Well, we finished early. I'm nope. sure he'll be happy to see us. No, he won't. <laughs> Mm, but he would. Yes, I would. Jet, why? Katara, you would too if you just stopped to think. Think about what the Fire Nation did to your mother. You can't group you them all the same, though. Ever again. This isn't the answer. I want you to understand me, Katara. I thought your brother would understand, but... Where's Sokka? Katara. <sighs> nice. No, please fight him. I want to see this. This can be really cool, actually. Nice. There's your brother. That is not your brother. Never mind. What are you doing? Wait, sorry. Yeah, the brother. Sorry. I don't. I was thinking earlier when he stuck the knife into the tree, but it wasn't him. The one whistling. So never mind. <laughs> Too late. No. Oh, that glider's broken. Come on, put in work, dude. He's been putting in work this whole episode, dude. I believe in him. No. Wow. It actually happened. Okay, they got out. Dude, I was about to say, that is really dark. That they... Because I'm just going to say, did they actually lose? Because most of the situations they get out of, they usually end up winning, more or less. But, like, this was an actual loss right here. But never mind, because he actually got them out of town, thankfully. Because, like, when that doll popped out of the water, it was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> The old man, let's go. He urged them to trust me. We got everyone out in time. This is pretty. Aww. So That's so cute. Cool. We could have freed this valley. We thought you were going to the dam. How come you went to the town instead? Let me guess. Your instincts told you. <laughs> Yo, what a great episode. This was like a redemption arc for Sokka. Not only was he right the entire time, but he also put in work, like his action, like his words, like he was right the entire time and he was actually 
like doing so well like you his skills his like everything like this episode was dedicated to him pretty much and you know like at the beginning like jet is such a good manipulator that he was even manipulating me to a point because i'm like i don't even know who to trust because like when the old man showed up it's like yeah the old man definitely could be carrying something dangerous and then it turned out it's like oh he was bringing this knife with poison but he never actually had that knife he just kind of planted that or whatever um so, like, he's a master manipulator so much that he manipulated me a little bit into believing him. But it definitely came to show that he was definitely the bad guy this episode. And Sokka definitely really showed off this episode. He was doing so well. Honestly, I'm, like, really proud of him. Like, he's also the one that saved the day. Like, you know, because up until this point, he's he hasn't really... He's just been complaining like the whole time that's really all his role has been he hasn't had like a substantial importance besides just being part of the team dynamic but he actually like took that leadership position in this episode more or less and did really well and i actually really like him this episode is very much focused on his character growth and progression and i think it worked out very well the action in this was great the writing in this was really good uh and, like, you know, I can't even blame Aang and Katara for not believing him. Because, you know, one, she was so infatuated with Jet. And two, uh, and Aang kind of follows whatever Katara does. And also, um, you know, they were kind of frustrated with Sokka at the time anyways. So just all the wrong things happened for this episode to end up happening. But by the end of it, they act- it was actually kind of a win. And Sokka saved the day. So, honestly fantastic episode i was very much drawn into this and pretty unique to most of the episodes we've seen so far so actually this was really cool i like this a lot uh yeah so hey i guess Sokka's is kind of a more he seems more responsible more a little bit more grown up right now so maybe he'll actually be more respectable now i hope because i actually really enjoyed his presence in this episode as opposed to some of the other episodes so we'll have to see but uh yeah great episode um i'll see you guys in the next one